Doucette. We must make preparations. I overheard people in the street talking about... What is wrong, Anatole? <gasps> There's going to be a cat show! Cats! <gasps> From all over Europe! Papa, is it true? It is, Paul. But it is all over the radio. There are posters everywhere. And Madame Duval is the organizer. But that is not the worst. It will take place right here in the park, surrounding our village. Cats? What will we do? Hundreds of them! Millions of them! Don't worry, children. Your mother and I will think of something. The very worst is that the biggest prize is for the best mouse catcher! Oh, that is not good news. Oh, and a doll! The Comtesse de Souris and her class of school mice are coming to visit us from the countryside. They arrive tomorrow! We must stop this monstrous cat show! We cannot stop it, but we can protect ourselves. I will marshal the mice, rally the reinforcements, protect the park! Gaston, I admire your courage, but I fear we would not win a battle against the best mouse catchers in Europe. But Anatole, we cannot just sit and let them eat us! Of course not! We will use the best weapon of all, our brains! We not only have our park Montsouris to protect, but our visitors. Tell the school mice to stay home. It is too late. They are already on their way, and they could be taking any one of ten different routes. So there is no way to find them and warn them. We must gather the other mice and come up with a plan. My friends! My friends! You have all heard what will happen tomorrow. Doucette has also told you about our visitors, who are in even more danger than we. Does anyone have any ideas? You have begun without me? You could have waited. Time is short, Monsieur Pamplemousse. We were just discussing how we might protect the Comtesse de Souris and her group. The Comtesse de Souris? Of the richest, most powerful family of mice in all of France? Oui. But she is also a very fine teacher who loves her work. Why was I not consulted? Such an illustrious visitor. I should be meeting her train. We need flowers. Accommodations must be arranged. Monsieur, my wife has planned a visit with every attention. Anatole, let me handle this. You need to discuss a plan of defense with our friends. Monsieur Pomplemousse. The Comtesse expressly asked that we should not make a fuss over her visit. You must arrange a party to greet her at the train station. We don't know which train to meet. The Comtesse wrote us that she knows Paris and that she would prefer to find her own way here to Parc Montsouris. This is ridiculous. Why, <laughs> I am certain she is even a cousin of mine, if five times removed. That is wonderful, monsieur. But it is too late to change things. We have other worries. Since you are doing nothing to properly entertain the Comtesse, I must take over the arrangements. First, she must have a fine dinner at the Souris Gourmand. Oh. Then, we will see a Mozart opera. My friends, calm yourselves. This was to be expected, and we will use our brains to deal with it. How? He can catch seven mice with one swipe of his paw! Anatole, what has happened? Louis has brought news that Charlemagne's father is coming to enter the mouse-catching contest. <gasps> Pépé! Pépé in the short-tempered! He can eat a hundred mice a day! He will finish us off like a handful of candy! <laughs> Thank you.
My men and I have packed the chimney of every house in town with red pepper. One sniff and the girl choo! Excellent idea. Ga, ga, guess so! They will sneeze so hard, they will be propelled like rockets <laughs> right out of the village! It works! Sorry, Gaston, but you see, Anatole, we have stretched wire across all the streets leading into the village. Bravo, Louis! You must have worked all night. And look what the teenage mice have done. Release the dogs! They have placed recordings of furious dogs in almost every attic window. Very fierce, no? Startling. This is all very clever, but is it enough? No sign of the Comtesse and her group? No, and they should have been here hours ago. We searched everywhere, but the cats are starting to arrive. Hmm. I wonder if our old friend Nestor Le Ney would help us. But he is such a very old dog. He creaks like a rocking chair. Ah, but he still has the finest nose in Paris. That never fades. And he lives so close to here. Paul, I have decided. Go tell Nestor about the Comtesse and her group. Ask him to patrol around the park and catch them before the cats do. Better still, ask him to catch all those ugly cats first. A charming thought. But he will have enough to do. Bon, if that is arranged, I must go organize the other families. Come home soon, Anatole. As soon as I can. Do not worry. Oh, Papa! It is raining cats! They are coming from all over Europe! The world! I did not know there were so many cats, Papa! Any sign of Charlemagne's father? We saw a huge metal cage being lifted off a boat by a crane. It must have been Pepin. He is a fury. Well, smell a mouse already, do you? You won't have to wait long, old boy. <laughs> When we heard that, we ran straight home! I'm glad you made it safely. Go to the house and stay with your maman. It is as I feared. We must do more and do it now or Pépin will destroy our village. Now remember, close all your windows and stay away from them. We could hide in the cellar or the attic. No, mon petit. Pépin could knock off the roof like the wind knocks off your hat. We don't have a cellar. You can bring your family to ours. But don't bring food. The cats will smell it. Just water. And we will have to be very, very quiet. Yes, ma chère. Now, if the houses are not safe, we can run to the drains. That will take us to the sewers. It is dangerous, but... Nestor Lene is on the job. He says he could find the Comtesse a mile away. Let us hope he does not pass a butcher's shop or it does not rain. Now, my friends, any questions? Come, Anatole. It is time to go. We have done everything possible. Wait. Something Claude and Claudette said was very important. Yes, that Pepin the short tempered is a maniac and he is coming to eat us all if we don't hide. Now, come! Besides that, Gaston, what do all cats, even monsters like Pépin, fear more than anything? Nothing! They're too stupid to be frightened! That's why they're dangerous! Not true, mon vieux. They fear water. Remember? Pépin went crazy when his cage was over the water. Fine! I will go home and turn on my lawn sprinkler. Gaston, you are brilliant! That is exactly what we will do. Water the plants? No. We will water the cats. Come. It is all. Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and fabulous felines to the first annual Duval Cat Show. Mm -hmm. 
Please keep your cats in cages or on leashes for 15 more minutes. Come on, I have a plan. Are you mad? You're heading right for all those filthy cats! You won't be a hero! You'll be an author! Where is everyone? Long gone! Gone crazy! Where were you? Well, if Anatole is going to call meetings at such ridiculous hours, I should be in charge, not that little upstart. No one to welcome the Contest. Too busy being frightened of a few stupid felines. You, of course, are not. No! Those cats are so spoiled and fat, I could open one of their cages and he wouldn't even look at me. Ha! I'll do it! That will show Anatole who should be in charge. <laughs> Pamplemousse! No! In preparation for our final mouse catching competition, we will warm up with our catnip mouse batting practice. The curtain climbing competition will be followed by the furniture scratching race. Anatole! Ah, excellent. You can help me. Even the most ferocious cat can be stopped by a mouse if he uses his brain and if he has a plan. But, uh, but... Look, we stretch this wire across the gate that leads to the village, then we attach it to the valves, which turn on the park sprinkler system. We wind them so and so, and then over this, the first cat that pulls on the wire, voila, a wall of water to fortify our village. Magnifique, Anatole, but we have no time. It will take less than 15 minutes. And first prize goes to Louis Cat of Calais for silkiest coat and sweetest expression. And now, the event we've all been waiting for, the Talent Contest. In the first round, cats will choose which of these covered cages contains a live canary. Uh, we've had to cancel that event. So, we'll proceed to long-distance wool batting. Anatole, Pamplemousse has gone to open one of the cat's cages. He's almost there. Look! Has he lost his mind? <laughs> Absolutely. He thinks the cats are too lazy to come here. We should be arranging flowers for the contest, he thinks. <laughs> we must turn on the sprinklers ourselves. Oh, no. He's heading for the big metal cage. Pepin! Show that Anatole who should be in charge of the village. No, no, the grand prize mass hunt does not begin for another five minutes. Wait. Come! Heal! Oh, no! What's that? The opening of a cat cage. Many cat cages. Quickly! When you can reach the wire, hook it under the valve. That's right. We're in luck. These have been oiled. They will open easily. <laughs> this door in the contest. Hurry, Gaston! <laughs> Are we going to get a down 
from here. Easy. We jump. <gasps> <laughs> My apologies, old friend. Are the cats gone? Thank heaven it started to rain. Ha! And thank Anatole. Anatole? Contest? Oh no! I mean, we are so pleased to have such a great lady. <laughs> you mean such a wet lady? <laughs> <laughs> Who turned on the water? This ridiculous person did, Contest. What an unsuitable way to greet. And your name is? Anatole, Madame. I am so sorry you got wet. Well, Anatole, I am so pleased that I am alive. I have never seen so many cats appear out of nowhere. It's almost as if someone set loose an entire cat show. Only a lunatic would do something like that. I only opened one cage. I have no idea how the others got out. Contest. Would you and your students care for a nice hot barley consommé? My wife Doucette always has plenty on hand. That would be perfect. Oh, could we also borrow some dry clothes? But of course. Oh, we have been all over Paris. You know, Anatole, I swear they have moved half the building since the last time I was here. <laughs> that water. But what a wonderful plan, Anatole. Poor Nestor. Has he stopped shaking himself off? Finally. <laughs> there. I thought he would like that. Dogs adore cheese. It was such a good idea to send him for us. A very gentle dog. Salut, mon ami! All part of our plan, Contest. In such situations, one has to think ahead, you know. Where did he find you? <laughs> the Louvre. I meant to go to the Pantheon, but I must have become turned around. So we saw the Mona Lisa, all the lovely paintings. You must see our little gallery, Contest. Not big, of course, but we have a beautiful statue of the Venus de Mars Hall and a wonderful display of rodent bronzes. They are, I'm sure, not up to the Countess's usual standards. Countess, <laughs> I believe we are related through the fourth Marquis de Melon. Ah, yes, he is a distant cousin. Funny little mouse, very pompous, never has any fun at all. May I help myself to more of this excellent broth? <laughs> I would love the recipe. <laughs> what fun they are having. Do said you and Anatole and your children must come to the Chateau Fromage d'Or this August. Bring whoever you like. Another wonderful plan. Gaston, Pomplemousse, will you join us? I have another invitation. But Thank you, Countess. I'll be free, Countess. Ooh. Uh, 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 Pardonnez-moi. 
Let's drink a broth toast to mind over meows. Viva <laughs> Natal! <laughs> <laughs>